Hey everyone, Ben here with the Additive Guru channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a surface texture to whatever model you want, and how to use the notebook function of Ntop. So first, we're gonna go ahead and click the cube in our Create tab, and you'll see that we have a cube in our design space, and we have a cube in our notebook. So this is what we call a block, and we have our inputs of the block, and then the output is the cube itself. So we're going to go ahead and grab the sphere. And we're going to change the dimensions of the cube to 20 millimeters. And we're going to change the dimensions of the sphere to 10 millimeters radius. And we're going to click the center points. And we're going to drag it to be around the corner of the cube. And then we're going to combine these two together. So we're gonna need a Boolean union. You can search it up here or you can go to the modeling tab and then click Boolean union. So it needs two bodies to combine. So we're gonna drag the cube into the input and then drag the sphere into the other input. And then we're going to click these circles to make them invisible. And then if you click here, we see that we have one solid body, that is a sphere and a cube. So now we're going to apply a uh, lattice to the outside of the model. So we're gonna add a Voronoi de Boss. And we're gonna drag our Boolean union into the body input. We're going to make that invisible. And to speed up any processes, you can select the, in the bottom right the uh, resolution and select low res. And that'll speed up the process. All right. So you can see we have a slight pattern on here, but it's not, uh, not very noticeable. So we're going to go change the thickness of the lattice to be 0.4. So now we have a deeper engraving into the model. And now we're going to give it a little bit more cells. We're going to change the cell count to 110. And that will give us more cells. So now we're going to add a roughness to all the cells to make it look more rocky. So we're going to add a surface roughness. And we're going to drag our Voronoi de Boss into the body input. And we're going to make that invisible. You'll see we'll get this uh, clumpy thing. So we're going to make it so it's not uh, interfering with the lattice that much. And change the amplitude to 0.5. And we'll get something like this. All right, so now that we have our result, we're going to make it so we can apply this to any model we give it. So we're going to use the notebook function. So up here we have the inputs, the body, and the output. The output gives us the result. Our body does all the calculations. And then our inputs are like these variables that we see in each block. So first we're going to change the name of our notebook. So we're going to double click new notebook and we're going to change the name to a Voronoi Roughness. And you can give a description if you want. And then we're going to give it an input. So we want it to be able to input any model that we want. So we're going to click the add block search bar and we're going to search implicit body variable and we're going to drag that into the input section. So now we're going to delete the boolean union block which will get rid of our model and then we're going to drag the implicit body into the Voronoi de Boss body input. Nothing will show up because we don't have a model in the implicit body input. So now we're going to give a little more input uh, 
so the user can change more about the model. So we're going to change, we're going to give them the uh, ability to change the cell count. So we're going to click the Voronoi uh, cell count, we're going to right click it, click make variable, and we're going to drag that into the input section. We're also going to do that to the thickness. We're going to drag it in. I'm going to rename it Voronoi thickness so it's a little bit more distinguishable. And then we're going to give it the roughness frequency variable and the roughness amplitude variable. So this lets the user uh, change more about the model so we're not only giving the model. So then we can choose the output, which would be the result. So we want the surface roughness to be the result, so we're going to drag it into the output section. And then we're going to click File, and we're going to click Save, and then we're going to name it. All right. And now we can click File, then click New to bring a new notebook. And then we can click File and Import, and then import our notebook. So nothing shows up but we can click add block and then search up what we name the notebook not the uh, file so we're going to search up what we typed in which is Voronoi roughness and press enter and you'll see that we have all our inputs that we uh, put into the input section of the notebook so the body input is empty because we left it empty so we can take a uh, object from the create tab and drag it into the body input. And we can make that invisible. You'll see that it applies whatever uh, we put in the body to it. And we're going to make that a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Uh, 15. And we're going to make it 30 high. All right, so now we have our textured object and our custom block. So thanks for watching and feel free to check out the other videos we have here on the channel.